What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and before I get started, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, hit the subscribe button and hit the thing, the little bell. That way you get notified of all my videos, whether it's recipes or vlogs. Make sure you do that and then we'll be doing this. Oh, and don't forget hit me up on my IG. Everything going to be listed down below, even the recipe all the ingredients will be listed down below and for today's recipe is going to be a stuffed chicken cheese with the philadelphia cream cheese so let's get started Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to start mixing in our ingredients. The first thing you're going to have is your Philadelphia cream cheese. This is about 8 ounces. It is 8 ounces. And you're just going to make sure that this is at room temperature. That's the way it'll be so easy to mix. So you're going to go ahead and put that in the mixing bowl. And if you're looking for good mixing bowls, I just got this. I got this and it comes with these big old ones. There's another one inside. And then I like the bottom that has that gripper. Costco, this is where I got them, Costco. There were only like 14 bucks. So there you go. So you got your cream cheese in there and you're gonna go ahead and get your sharp cheddar cheese. You're gonna get about half a cup and you're gonna pour that in there. And you're gonna get your pepper. You're just gonna add a little bit of there. That's good enough. And then your thyme. You'll probably just get about a pinch of this. So, there. See how much I have there? Can you guys see? Just throw that in there. If you have fresh thyme, that's even better. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my ranch seasoning. You can get this at any store, but this one, when you go to the store, they're usually in packs. They'll charge you like four or five bucks. I got this big old thing again, Costco. So if you're looking for something good, something cheap, a lot, of, go to Costco. So we're gonna put about two tablespoons and a half. So there's one tablespoon two and then I'm gonna go a little less and this is a rich tasting with um they're gonna be butter on top and with the cheese it can be rich so it's up to you on what you want to plate it with um a lot of people do a side of potatoes for me I just do a side of vegetables that's it because I feel like this is too rich but in a good way like that Oh, when it's cold out and you just want something good and cheesy. And this is also good for those that are on keto. So go ahead and mix that. And then you're going to get your sauce. Worcestershire, Worcester, whatever the hell, however you call it, this stuff. And don't be hitting me in the bottom talking about, that's not how you say it. Don't worry. You know what it is? This is what it is. So you're going to put one tablespoon and again you can find this at any store any market i got mine at again costco but because it gives you they give you two of these for the price of one so why not so go ahead and mix all that in Once you have that all mixed up, 
this is optional if you have parsley cut this up and then you're gonna put it in there i love me some parsley Once you have that all cut up, you just go ahead and throw it in and give that a good mix. Now that we have that all mixed up, we're going to put this to the side and we're going to prep our chicken. Okay, now that I have my chicken breast, I have three chicken breasts. We're going to go ahead and just make a pocket. Make sure not to cut all the way through. And it's only going to be on one side. That way we just stuff it. You see how that is? I'm going to open slowly. Try not to make another hole or that all the cheese will look at, leak out. That's good enough. That's one. And then I also got some toothpicks. That way you can just put on there. Let me just cut this off. And you can stuff it with as much as you want. I'm going to go ahead and just use my hand for this. See the, how that is? But look, I overcut it. So it's come, going to come out from the bottom. But whatever. We'll deal with it. gonna stick a toothpick in that way just hold some of it it's still gonna come out but that this is gonna help it Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and season it. I forgot to season the chicken before stuffing it, but it's okay. So we're going to add some salt to the front and the back. Pepper. garlic powder and paprika again you can use any type of paprika I like to use smoked paprika and this is what's going to give that chicken that nice color
Now that you have your chicken seasoned and stuffed, you're just gonna go ahead and get a piece of butter and you're gonna just place it right on top. So once you've placed your butter slices on top of the chicken breast, you're gonna go ahead and preheat your oven to 450 degrees. You're gonna cook this between 20 and 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and put this in. And then this is optional, but I like to put parsley on top right after. I don't like to put it before because then the parsley, all it does is going to get burned. But there is your chicken, guys. Look at all that cheese going out. Yum. All right guys, so there you have it. This is your stuffed chicken breast. I hope you guys enjoy this. I put it with a side of veggies. You guys are gonna play it with whatever you want. Mashed potatoes, quinoa, rice. I love the way it came out. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Hope you guys like it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye.